All right, here I have a uh, Chevy Equinox with the P0172, and it has the 2.4 engine. And looking at the free frame da data, it is running rich. And most of the time, it is a high pressure fuel pump that's causing this because it's leaking into the crankcase. But I haven't really seen any videos on how to diagnose it properly. But it's a pretty easy diag. First of all, I checked the dipstick to see if uh, the oil smells kind of like fuel. Um, and then if it does, or if it looks watery, I pulled a PCV hose right here and put like my finger over it. Or I'll also put a valve stem sometimes just to let it run for a while. Like at max, five minutes, let it run. And the fuel trims should get better. Um, even pulling it, you know, for a couple seconds, it, it gets uh, instantly better. But most of the time, I let it run for like two or three minutes. And like I said, it should get better. And that's about it. If it's getting better just from that, uh, it's pretty much the uh, high pressure fuel pump leaking into the crankcase. Because if it's leaking into the crankcase, it's being sucked in <clears throat> through the PCV hose. And uh, that's the only other way to do it. You might also think maybe it's injectors, but then you might be getting like a, like a misfire from a certain cylinder. And that's this isn't the case. It's just <clears throat> it's just leaking from the uh, from the high pressure fuel pump. And the reason I make this video is because sometimes you know you want to properly diagnose and you just don't want to call a high pressure fuel pump just because it's common. So. Now, if you're gonna do your own high pressure fuel pump, I'm going to recommend you just get OEM. Um, and the reason that is, is because I had a customer who did his own high pressure fuel pump and he put an aftermarket one. Um, and as you can see in this picture, the one on the right is the aftermarket one and the one on the left is the OEM one. As you can see, it has different stampings. Um, but he put in this aftermarket one and <clears throat> he had a different concern after a while where uh, when he would come at a stop, it would go into reduced power mode and it would set a code for a P0191. And you would delete it and the car would drive fine and for like a couple of minutes and then it will come back um and that was all because of the aftermarket fuel pump um i don't know what what the hell they do with them but they're made pretty bad um and it, it was kind of weird because i thought it was gonna be like a high pressure fuel sensor um but it wasn't it it was i found the conversation between two guys at a forum in, um, on a scanner dander forum talking about the same problem I was having. And it turned out that both of them uh, also replaced a high pressure fuel pump with a uh, aftermarket one. And when they put an OEM one, it just fixed it. And I'm gonna leave that conversation here so you guys can read it. But if you guys ever have that problem, P0191, after replacing a fuel pump with an aftermarket one, just put a OEM one. So hopefully that helps out someone.